Hello, this is going to be a follow-up lesson to the one that I had created a few days ago on creating an Autodesk educational account. So, by this time, Autodesk has verified my status to be able to use Autodesk software. Uh, that's the last part that I ended with, with my last video concerning this, where I had to insert documentation uh, which was, in, in, in your case, it would be a transcript or it would be a student ID card. If you don't have anything like that, uh, feel free to contact me so I can give you a hand with that. So here I am on the AutoCAD screen. Now what I did, and if you don't remember how to do this, you can watch the first video again, but go to autodesk.com, scroll down and click free software for students, and then click AutoCAD. And then it's going to bring you to this screen. So I'm already logged in. So I can scroll down and it says welcome back. And this is where I select the version. So I'm going to select AutoCAD 2019. Now don't select anything less or anything more. The reason we're using AutoCAD 2019 at home is because that's what we're using at school. That's what our lab's image is set for. So we don't want to keep traveling up uh, to 2021 or 2020 because if you download that one, do work and have me uh, check it for marking, I won't be able to open it unless you save it in a previous release. So it just causes extra work and extra headaches. Um, I'm using 2019 at home. So please select AutoCAD 2019 and make yours and my life easier. Next up, operating system. So you need to know whether your computer is a 32-bit is a or a 64-bit. My computer is a 64-bit. Um, your computer may be different, so you need to figure out what kind of computer you have. Now, it's different to check depending on what kind of operating system you're using. Are you on Windows 10? Are you on Windows 8? Um, I don't know. So I'm going to leave this up to you to figure out. So if you and you have a 50 50 chance here. So if you pick the wrong one, it won't install the program. And then you may have to go back and get the other one if you don't know how to figure that out. But I'm going to pick 64 bit because that's what my machine is. Um, I'm going to go to language and hit English. And then what this does is it generates a serial number and a product key. So this is needed to unlock the software beyond the 30-day trial. So this is going to actually give you uh, a license for one year. Used to be three years, but they've shortened it up. So it says here you are receiving a one-year educational license, and you can install this up to two personal devices. And then you would hit install now. And then go to I accept, hit install, and then run through all of the installation procedures. I'm not going to go through that, but I think you can figure that out on your own. It, it's pretty straightforward. If you're having issues, you can get in touch with me. And good luck, and I'll talk to you later.